Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on March 28th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, where we give you an update on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well our world weather forecast. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as posted earlier, we do have a solar event on its way. And we are now going through a ge geomagnetic storm from this M-class solar flare in an earth-facing direction. Models are now coming in as to when it will be impacting us. Having a quick look here at incoming imagery. Still a very active sunspot region cresting in right now. Going to be keeping an eye on that. And in the outgoing position, and not much to talk about, except for plasma dancing around the surface of the sun. And we just recently did have another B and C class flare. I'm pretty sure they were flaring from the southern regions and as well the northern region where the M class flare took off. Another quick closer look at the event. And as well the cresting imagery. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can really see that shock wave and explosion from the M class solar flare right there last few images and as well looking at 171 angstroms departing coronal holes and as well in the southern region coronal hole developing here right now no earth facing coronal holes showing lasco 2 all of the energy projected from our sun as the images are now coming in this is the last 48 hours and look at all those massive particles being shot and thwarted our way from the M-Class right there. Another close look. to slow it down a little bit. Just unbelievable massive plasma particles shooting away from our sun. Cosmic charged particles are now penetrating our atmosphere. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, as you can see, this was an Earth facing event, and we will be expecting the solar wind stream March 31st. NOAA space prediction spiral is showing the same thing. Massive event on its way and impacting on the 31st of March, overnight on the 31st. Looking at solar X-ray flux, as you can see, jumping around the B and C class range after that M class flare, geomagnetic activity remains low right now. Looking at a real time solar wind, 437 kilometers per second after being up into K5 or KP5 index over 550 kilometers per second. Schumann in residence for today, a power of nine. And space weather does affect, as this is all connected electromagnetically to our hearts and to our minds. Quality of 10, power of nine. Having a look here at earthquakes for the past 24 hours, we're sitting at about 230 earthquakes across the USGS map. Looking across the map, our largest through the region the past 24 hours was a 5.4 in Ecuador. And that was late last night after that 5.8 that rocked the region. Panama seeing a 4.4 as well as Savannah Bight. Honduras seeing a 4.8. Activity continues through Puerto Rico. Stella, Puerto Rico. And as well, we've got an earthquake swarm happening in Texas. Toya, Texas, largest through the region today was a 3.2, but this is, or sorry, 3.4. So this is continuing action as well, 3.0 there in Neeland, California. Minor seismicity increasing through Alaska, largest through the region, 3.5. 
It's been a lot of minor earthquakes there. Pahala, Hawaii, seeing a 2.6 at the 34 kilometer depth as well. Let's give a quick look at the summit caldera, give you a quick update on the lava flows. As a large cone, a cone in the southeast corner, bottom right corner of this image here, there is a large cone that has developed and we've got one, two, three, four lava lakes that are active now. So I myself, I am expecting this to erupt even further and maybe fill up the lake even more. You may be able to see that large island that is in the summit. Carrying on here with Fiji Islands, 286 kilometer depth as well as 4.6. Our deepest earthquake today, 554 kilometer depth. 4.5 there, Banda Sea, 152 kilometer depth. Poso, Indonesia. 4.4 there in Mariatag, Philippines. Tall volcano erupted the other day, as well as 4.7 here, Andaman Islands, 4.6, Julian City, four, and as well as 4.6 here in Nami, Japan, 58 kilometer depth, 4.3 there yesterday, as well as 4.3 reported late last night, Arma, Greece. And South Sandwich Islands, seeing some activity come back to the region. It's been quiet there for a while. 5.1 at 35 kilometer depth. South America, Chile, seeing 4.3, 4.6. And a 4.4 there, Abra Pampa, Argentina. And that's a look at the last 24 hours. Quick look here around the world for the past seven days. Always active all around the Ring of Fire but is an increasing activity through Central America, South America, and as well all of the deep earthquakes recently. I'm expecting something big here, especially with the incoming space weather event and the penetration of the coronal hole windstream. Take a quick moment here to thank everybody for tuning in. Please keep sharing and caring this channel. I appreciate all the love and support. Carrying on here, the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery it as well showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Still a lot of flood alerts. The United States looking at Dokono in Indonesia, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Sabincaya, Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Nevada de Chilean, Colombia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Merapi, Indonesia, 12 hours ago, newly awakened. And as well, Kitaloto, Japan, Swiss and Ajima, Japan. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today among the 53, if not 54, volcanoes that are actively erupting around the world. Quick look here across the Pacific Ocean. Strong system coming into California, bringing some long-awaited rain to the drought-stricken region. As well, through higher elevations, watch for winter storm conditions. Overlooking Australia, southeastern parts, rain continuing this week. One tropical storm to talk about. Halima is still alive and heading southward. Across the Atlantic. Overlooking Africa. Still a pretty strong system affecting the Mediterranean. Let's have a quick look here at windy.com, showing the temperatures here for the next few days as it's going to be quite a roller coaster event. Watch these blues come and go over the next seven days. But it's bitterly cold right now, minus 17 with the wind chill through Ontario. And tomorrow it's going to be right up to about 10 degrees Celsius. So quite a roller coaster event we're going through right now with our aggravated jet stream. As well, windy.com here, I wanted to show you the winds for the next few days as we have quite a, we have a couple strong systems heading into northern BC this week and Alaska as forecasted on previous videos. But I wanted to show you here the updated models. 
and the long range as we have a very big system heading into the coastline right there. Very strong low. So watch for extreme winds and as well heavy downpours, atmospheric river of moisture following that, that line on that low. Let's have a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Daily Events Worldwide. Overlooking home base Ontario, cold temperatures until tomorrow. And then things are really going to change here with this large low moving in. Watch for rain and mixed precipitation and snow on the backside. Across the prairies, watch for lingering snows to shoot across Alberta Clipper. And as well, watch for a lot of rain over the next few days, penetrating the BC coastline northward to Alaska. It's going to be some pretty strong systems here developing across the southeastern, northeastern United States and central regions. Stay tuned for our daily updates. Overlooking South America, no major changes. Still watching a lot of rain through northern Brazil. Looks like it's going to dry out in the long range. Calm down on the daily evaporation rains. Overlooking Africa, no major changes coming. Overlooking Europe, strong low heading into Italy this week. Friday to Saturday. Overlooking Southeast Asia. No tropical storms to talk about. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Malaysia. Possible tropical storm here developing for northeastern parts of Australia. Other than that, it's going to be drying out throughout the week. Thanks everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.